What's up, people? So, um, with this video, I want to uh, show a song where I put in some horns and um, how I kind of arrange that. And also, I want to talk about uh, vintage horns and vintage horns too, which are um, basically virtual instruments for contact, um, and uh, which I'm using in Logic. So. Uh, this is a tune I wrote, and I've got um, Easy Drummer uh, drums here using this uh, vintage sounding kit. Um, <clears throat> this is the bass part uh, here. It's me. Uh, then we got uh, some rhythm guitar, and we got some lead guitars. Thing. Then we got the horn section here. So I got a trumpet, and I got a tenor sax, and I have a trombone. Uh, and uh, let me just play the whole thing together. I'm not going to play the whole song. I'll just play part of it, but uh, uh, here goes. So let me show you uh, some of the horn parts, uh, or just at least how I went ahead and um, um, arranged it. And uh, I've never really arranged horns before this song, so this was mostly just kind of by ear. I did watch a few videos just to get the feel for how you um, how you arrange a horn section. Um, you know, you can go in octaves. Like this first line here is in octaves. One thing I learned is that you start with the top voice. And you figure out how, you know, what melody the top voice is going to be playing. And then you harmonize down from there. So for this one, this is the trumpet playing this part here. So uh, I ended up putting this in octaves. That's the tenor sax. And then the trombone. So let's solo it. We'll take a listen here. This is a chord uh, harmony, as is this. So we got kind of a, a line here that's in octaves and then followed with a hit of a, of a chord, kind of like a major chord. Um, now this part here is uh, um, a, a swell. So basically, um, vintage horns... Uh, like most um, virtual instruments, they have these key switches, which uh, will tell the software how to play the note. And so they have about five different ones uh, for vintage horns that, you know, sustain, uh, staccato, uh, fall offs. Um, there's that thing where the notes go up. I think that's called a doit or something. Um, So it sounds, you know, fairly good. Um, 
And uh, here's a solo of the, uh, this is lead trumpet sound. This one is from vintage. So those sounds you just heard are from vintage horns. This one is from vintage horns uh, two. So this is the, uh, the trumpet solo. Let's listen to this soloed. So um, I played this with uh, with a MIDI guitar right here. This is a, a Godin guitar. It's got these special pickups, and I've got a um, an Axon MIDI controller. It's kind of a clunky uh, way to um, to sequence um, because uh, it picks up a lot of ghost notes and things like that. So I have to go in there and clean it up. It'll pick up little tiny notes that you know, come out of the guitar that aren't the main note you're trying to play. Uh, but it gets the job done. I can get it in there. Um, so this is a different trumpet. Uh, I have this playing in harmony with the lead guitar. Uh, sorry, have it playing in unison with the guitar. So the guitars are playing uh, harmony. One of them is doing the same notes as the uh, as the trumpet, and then um, this part is uh, sax right here. So That's the sax, uh, tenor sax. Sounds pretty nice. And I've got a sax solo at the end here. So let's take a listen to this. This sounds pretty cool. Listen to this one. So what you'll what you notice is that um, you know the notes aren't like perfect. There's kind of some of them sound a little off, like they're a little uh, sharp or flat, and um, you know they kind of waver a little, or uh, you know it kind of crack notes and stuff. And it's really cool. I, I like that about this particular um, sound library. Uh, <clears throat> the key switches down here also kind of play a big role in making it sound real. You know, some of the other uh, horn libraries actually have legato uh, where it's uh, sampled. And so if you go from one note, you know, say you go to a, you know, from an A to a C, it'll actually play uh, a sample of a horn going from an A to a C. So the transitions sound much more realistic. But uh, one thing that's nice about this vintage horns, uh, these sound good right out of the box. Like I didn't really have to mix these at all. Uh, if you look like on the sax channel, uh, I got a little EQ. Um, I've got it going through a bus uh, with a little bit of, um, I think, reverb, uh, but that's about it. So anyway, I think that's all I had to say about it. Uh, it was fun. I'm going to probably try to do, use the horns again um, in some other tunes, but this is my first time doing it and uh, came out pretty nice. Pretty happy with it.